This is a smoked herring, better known as a kipper. It's made by taking a fresh herring, splitting it down the back, removing the uh, intestines, soaking the fish in brine, and then drying it and smoking it in a, over an oak fire for about 12 hours. It's a very inexpensive fish, this one costing just over uh, one pound sterling. It's uh, highly nutritious. Uh, there are no artificial additives. Uh, it is rich in omega-3 oil, vitamin A and vitamin D. The only downside is that there's quite a bit of it that you can't really eat. The head, the tail, the skin, and lots and lots of bones. In this video, I'm going to try and demonstrate how best to get rid of all the parts you can't eat. Start off with a pair of kitchen scissors and cut the head off just behind the gills. Then cut off the tail, just where it joins the body. Now for the skin. Start with the uh, left side of the fish. Your thumb under the skin on that side. Gently peel the skin from the head end towards the tail. And then that's one half done. Move to the other side of the fish your thumb under the skin at the head end. It's usually a little bit more tricky on this side. Doesn't matter if it comes off in one piece. You'll find that when you get about halfway down the fish, you reach the dorsal fin, which you should pinch out with your finger and thumb. Carry on peeling the skin back. Then at the tail end there's another fin. For obvious reasons it's called the anal fin. There's a few bones in that. You want to get rid of them. Now we're going to get rid of the bones. This is the side of the fish that has the spine bone. What you do is you put your thumb under that spine bone, lift it up and gently prise it away from the fish, pushing up with the thumb of your right hand. Now you'll find that uh, there's a very dark piece of skin here. It's the stomach lining, which you want to get rid of. And in the process of peeling that off, you'll get rid of many of the bones at the front end of the fish. There's a few at the back end sticking out. Now you could use a pair of tweezers to remove these, but I find it's quite easy just to do it with your thumb and finger. To check that you've got them all, rub that side of the fish with the side of your index finger and you will detect any that's left. It's one side boned, move to the other side. Again you'll see the stomach lining which you need to peel away. Again some of the bones will come with it. Those that are left you just pick out. There we have all the bones removed. Now, if you 
you turn this fish over, you'll see that the meat is in three separate bands. There's a very pale piece here, pale piece here, and a dark piece in the middle. I think this has got something to do with the fact that the fish senses movement in the water with this part of its body. And for some reason, this, the meat here is much darker than the rest. Um, I, it's perfectly edible, but I don't particularly like the taste, finding it a little bit strong. So I like to remove this, and it's very, very simple. You just put your thumb under it, and push your thumb towards the head end of the fish, and then move it back towards the tail end, and it will separate very easily. Giving you your first boneless fillet. Pinch out from the other side, and again you'll find that it peels off quite easily, separates away. Second fillet. Move to the other side of the fish. Put your thumb into the dark meat. Push it towards the head on this side. And you have another fillet. Pinch it out on this side. When I dispose of this because I don't like it, but there's no reason why you shouldn't keep it and cook it with the rest of the fish and see how, whether you like it or not. Then we have the fish pretty much bone free. Any bones that are left in there will be very small and very soft and uh, they won't really do you any harm should you eat them. There's a little bonus on the rib cage that you've already removed, you'll find that on one side of it there is a substantial slither of very tasty meat which you don't want to waste and sometimes there's a little bit on the other side. There we have a boned kipper which you can cook in a grill or in my case I would uh, Microwave this for about 45 seconds and uh, I would serve it on toast or if I was feeling a little bit decadent I would add a poached egg to the top of that. Very healthy, very inexpensive meal, ideal for children but I would suggest that if you are going to give it to children I would at this stage cook the fish and then flake it and make sure that any small bones are removed because children don't like them. Enjoy.